Hey guys, it's Alo and you're watching DIY with Alo. Every time that I say that, I remember the little Disney thing with Alo. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a DIY scrunchie today. So let's get into it. The materials that you need for this are a piece of fabric, hair tie, scissors, needle and thread, and of course a measuring tape. I measured about 5 inches for the width and about 15 inches for the length. Once you've measured out the exact width and length that you're going to cut your fabric, go ahead and cut it. You will want to flip your fabric inside out, so the inside of the fabric should be facing you. So you see where the scissors are and there's a little bit of extra fabric there? I actually didn't cut that and it made it a little bit more difficult at the end when I was sewing everything together. Don't forget to cut it like me. Okay, so grab your hair tie and loop it through the fabric that is closest to you, like I am showing right here. Grab your needle and thread and put the thread through the needle and tie it a few times. Be sure to not grab an excessive amount of thread like I did. I did this mistake and it ended up just getting tangled and it was a hot mess and I had to start over. But anyway, learn from my mistakes. The type of sewing that I used for this was a running stitch, so put the needle in through both of the fabrics and then push it up and then push it down again and then push it up and then push it down again. And then pull the needle and then the thread will follow. Just keep doing this over and over and over. As you're doing this, as you see here, I'm gonna be pulling the scrunchie, the hair tie down and pulling the fabric up and then continuing the pattern again. This is what you're gonna to wanna to do throughout the entire thing.
once you get close to the very end of the fabric make sure that you continue the stitch just because it's at the very end doesn't mean we do anything different once that's all stitched up make sure that you go in and put the needle through the fabric just once or twice just to secure the end of that stitch and also make sure that you tie it. I tied my thread about two or three times just to secure it. The next step is to grab the other end of the scrunchie, the end that is not sewn shut, and you're gonna flip the fabric inside out just like I'm doing right here, all the way around the hair tie. So you have pulled the fabric inside out, go to the other end of the scrunchie and put your fingers into the scrunchie and pull out because that's where all of that fabric is stuffed in. You can either pull the fabric out with your fingers like I did here or you can use a pen or some type of grabbing material, but I found it to be really easy to do it with just my fingers. The next step that we have to do here is stitch the two ends together. You have two options when you do this. You can either fold both ends in and stitch them together or you can stitch the raw ends independently and then stitch them both together in the end. I decided to fold mine in and then secured it with a safety pin and then came over and do an invisible stitch. It seemed to work out fine. This is what it looks like. This is what the scrunchie is. I'm so happy. I think it's so cute and big and fluffy and it looks so cute in my hair.